Hello, I'm Pam, and I'd like to share a really good book with you today. The book is called, What Do You Do With an Idea? And it was written by Kobe Yamada, and it's illustrated by Mae Beeson. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? And one day, I had an idea. You see here, the idea is wearing a crown. At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it. So I just walked away from it. And here's the idea. And here, he's walking away. But it followed me. It's very persistent. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I tried to keep it to myself. I hid it away. I didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same and it was before my idea even showed up. But there was something magical about this idea. You see the idea is playing in the pond and there, down there there are frogs and fish and having a great time. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. You see now he's carrying it in his backpack. They're friends. I showed it to people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid that they would think that it was silly. See, here's the idea with all these other people looking at it and judging. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. I'm thinking about it. There's the idea. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do, and it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe even a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food, I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. Are you looking up at the stars? I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think even bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said it's good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. They are friends. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky.
I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realize what you do with an idea. You change the world. And look at these birds who are now wearing crowns too. The end. I really hope you enjoyed this book as much as I did.